Hello and welcome. Good evening and welcome to Leading Ladies, Leaving Legacies, Living Legacies. I am honored and delighted to be with you tonight. And our guest, Lynn Kitchen, is going to share so much powerful information with you. It's all about the power of positive thinking and the can-do spirit and so much more. I could go on and on and on. I'm like a little kid off to first day of grade school. I'm excited. And I can't wait for you to meet her. So before we go any further, help me to welcome our guest tonight, Lynn Kitchen. And she's going to come over and say hello, hello, and welcome. Thank you, Lynn. Oh, thank you, Joy. I'm, I am joyed, overjoyed, <laughs> over the moon, joyed to be here <laughs> with you. Thank you for having me. I'm so grateful. I am more so than you, my friend, because let me share this with our audience. You and I are troopers to the ninth degree because we had a little bit of issue here, there, and yonder, and you and I rose to the occasion, and you more so, and here you are. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I am really honored to have you here and delighted. I could go on and on sharing with them about your background and what you've been doing and what you were doing and what you're doing now is much more of interest to us because we know most of us who know you, one of the reasons that how I came to you is that you have interviewed or been aligned with most of the leading motivational, inspirational speakers in the world. So I'd like for you to share with us a little bit about how you came to that and why you love that so much. Mm. Well, that's a great question. And first of all, I want to honor what you're doing in the world first, um, leading ladies and to honor all of the women in the world who are doing some magnificent things, you in, in, included, and you're being one of the leading ladies yourself, Joy. Thank um, you. So, you know, the, this it's wonderful work that we're doing in the world, and to inspire others is close to our hearts, because if we can help lift others up so that they can be the very best selves that they can be, then it helps us to be our best selves. Um, so I think that's why, that's my why, really quickly is it makes me feel good. It gives me great joy and pleasure to support not just women, but um, all, everyone who's hungry to bring out their very best selves. And how do we do that is to, uh, well, I believe in the power of motivation and the power of mentorship. We can't do everything uh, by ourselves. We can't do it alone because we just don't know everything. And that's the way it is. <laughs> Indeed. And I have to tell you that all of the things that you're saying, this is why kindred spirits sooner than later always connect. Because not only all of the things that you share just now, Lynn, but what you're doing and how you're going about it, which we'll talk a wee bit more about later. But also one of the kindred spirits that I had with you was that you also work with young people. Mm -hmm young kids who are trouble and distress, juvenile delinquents, and so do I. So we have so much to share because it's the young woman and the mature and men as well that we are interested in helping them to rise to all that they can be. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I'd love to yes. hear more about why you're doing that. And you said it fills you up and that I understand. Tell us how you came to start this though. Well, yes, yeah, specifically um, the, the youth. Um, the incarcerated youth, I believe, are a population that is suffering greatly, and they deserve a chance. They're so young. They make mistakes early, and uh, without some kind of guidance, it's easy to make a mistake in this world. There's just so many um, problems that one can fall into without yeah. guidance and without parenting. And let's face it, you know, many of the young people who are incarcerated have, you know, they, they've been abused or uh, have been, they just haven't had any good chances and good upbringing or, you know, they've been led astray by other uh, people, yes. unfortunately. And so yeah. they deserve a chance because they're still young. And, and uh, uh, many of the, some of the greatest people on earth yes. have been in jail a long time. <laughs> we can say Nelson yes. Mandela, what, 27 yes. years? Yes, yes, And, yes. and uh, you know, even though his, his plight was different, I have a soft spot in my heart, and it happened. You asked me, how did it happen? Yes. It happened because um, a friend of mine uh, with whom I was going through a spiritual program together, and she and I were being licensed as uh, state licensed spiritual practitioners in uh, California 
under the aegis of Dr. Reverend Michael Beckwith. And she yes. started a foundation uh, called Spirit Awakening. And she would go into jails and juvenile halls and also teach at high school levels the concept that we are all one, that we are all spirit. And, and, and she, cool. yeah, and she inspired young people to go beyond the labels that people put upon them. Mm-hmm. What's underneath the, the, your name? What's underneath um, the labels that are being put on you? What's underneath the color of your skin? What's underneath that? Where, where are you really and who are you really? And I saw these young people flocking to her as if she was the Pied Piper of teenagers. <laughs> and um, I fell in love with her. Her name is Akuyo Graham, originally from Ghana, West Africa. Yes. And she opened a foundation called Spirit Awakening Foundation. Um, and I've been on her board for 22 years. We raise money every year. Uh, and part of uh, the, the real inspiration of why I be- became interested in in interviewing the best motivational speakers of the world is because I got interested in how can we motivate people at their core. Yes. And so if you can motivate those that are the least fortunate um, and you can motivate the most fortunate and everyone in between and all around the world, uh, we might have a different world for our next generation. And the generation and I, after that. No question about it. And everything for us starts at our core. And the key word that we're all using up late is building that relationship, the best relationship with yourself. And what you said, let us say hello and welcome to all of the wonderful people that are out here to greet you, Len, because I think most people are aware and familiar with what you're doing and want to know a little bit more about it. And you're going to share that with us. But you're speaking to the core of most of us who are doing this work where we are way beyond ourselves. We want to share more about how all of us can rise, as Maya Angelou said, to the best that's within us. So I love it that, and I want you to give me the name of the woman that you mentioned, because sad to say, I'm not familiar with her, but I love the way you described her to us, because that's what you do. You fall in love with people. That's I right. <laughs> you on the TV one night on the, on the computer screen, and I said, I must get to know this woman. And here you are, my mentor here. One of them has always said to me, get people who are doing more or less what you're doing, but are at a higher level. And that's what I'm about. So I'm honored that you're here. Tell Thank us what you, you're doing with the, Oh, my pleasure. Tell us what you're doing with your television work and how you are incorporating that. I know you have 13 episodes, a television series that you're doing about world's greatest motivators, and so on. Tell us a lot. Yes. About- well, okay. Now I'm really glad you asked. <laughs> because yeah. this, is, this is my absolute passion. Um, I am a, just so pleased to be called. You know, this is a calling um, yes. from of my heart yes. to give back. And I had an idea, and that idea said, what if you could pull together 13 of the greatest speakers that we have on this planet today mm-hmm. who happen to be motivational speakers mm-hmm. who had something not only to say, but the way they say it helps to ignite the spark in someone. Yes. And that's a skill set uh, that, that I have admired since I was a salesman in my teens and early 20s when, you know, I had to go out and make a living and I had to sell, 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 sell. And I wanted to motivate myself. So it came came from there. We get it because what you use, (laughs) keyword, you use, you, every motivational, inspirational speaker wants to ignite something in another being that will get them moving forward. And we all look for people like that. One of the ladies in the audience here that I know well, she says it takes a village and no one does anything alone. And this is true. Yes. That's right. Indeed. So to go on, um, the idea was pulling together a series. So a television program is usually a 13-week series. So therefore, how can I go out and find 13 of the very best speakers that we have? And I started out with the best speakers in America. Mm-hmm. And then it was too limiting. And I thought, well, wait a minute. There are people all over the world who are filling stadiums. One gentleman in Japan filling stadiums. And yeah. we've never heard about them. 
and maybe some people around the world have not heard about the, the great motivators here. So let's put together a forum where we can offer a platform. I call it the platform of light, yes. where we're inviting these speakers to jump up on stage and broadcast to the world. And we hope to have world international and national distribution of this television show. Um, it's a 30-minute television show each week for 13 weeks. Ah. Uh, we're going to be airing in January of 2020. Um, so we already have our distribution contract with a major national cable television here in America called WGN America, which has uh, that plus uh, Fox Sports. Already we have over 100 million viewers in, in that footprint that we'll be uh, mark or not broadcasting to or airing to starting in January, from January through March. So in, exciting. Yeah. In addition, we've, we've just created a uh, distribution um, outreach to a, a consortium of other networks. So more to be revealed whether I can't you know, say that the names yeah. of those networks now, but it happens to be an additional... 50 million households. So a total of about 150 million households in America just to start. Then we move into international distribution. So let me tell you a little bit about the people involved. Yes. I'm so and pleased. Let me just say this. Go ahead. I think most everyone in this audience, those who are here now, Lynn, and those who will come for the replay, are familiar with many of the leading, well-known, renowned, inspirational, motivational speakers. Some are with us still, some have gone on, but still with us in heart yes. and spirit. And I know because I did a little research on you that you have interviewed so many of them. So we're all waiting with bated breath to hear what <laughs> you're going to share with us. Okay, well, uh, you know, speaking of, there are many who have passed on who are the legends that upon whose shoulders we now stand. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to just name a few that were mentors of mine. And I was, yes. was fortunate enough to, to interview Dr. Wayne Dyer. Yes. And yes. of course he's passed on. And then my, one of my favorite is uh, the, uh, well, actually I interviewed her, his daughter, um, Nightingale, Earl Nightingale's daughter. I That's was able to that interview I was able recently. To interview yeah. yeah, it's how I met you, Joy. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, so Earl Nightingale was uh, a, a mentor's mentor, and he really was what we call the father of personal development. And and of course, before him or concurrent with him, uh, Napoleon Hill, who wrote Think and Grow Rich, and all of these people were the basis. And then this generation who is still alive today yes. are the um, protégés of those early thought leaders. And so I'm honored to say that one month ago, we were filming our first four episodes, and that included Bob Proctor, oh my. Les Brown, Mary Morrissey, and uh, uh, David Meltzer, these are four of, of the legacies that we have in our world today. Indeed. These four people have um, an international reputation on their own right and have been speaking on stages, some for 40 years or mm -hmm. more, teaching yeah. and speaking the idea of right thinking and yeah. of you know, what it takes to motivate ourselves to that we can do it and this, the positivity and the spirit, the can-do attitude. So I con got in contact with them first, and I said, let's start with the very best of the best. And <laughs> they said yes. They fell in love with the concept of, uh, you know, our, our tagline. I, I have a brochure here I'm going to show proudly. Yes, yes. Oh, my, my. Yes, indeed. Um, world's Greatest Motivators. The tagline mm -hmm. is Transcending Borders, Inspiring Big Dreams. I love it. Love so it. when you think about ideas that inspire, I believe they said yes to me because transcending borders around the world, the borders that we all create with each other, whether it is country borders, 
um, or community borders or borders of race or ideal ideology or borders of religion and so forth, or borders of fear, our personal borders. And those borders that can be real or imagined, what if we can transform, transmute, and transcend all borders, real or imagined, and go for our big dream? Absolutely. And what you just said and the tagline that you have for this, I like the title that we that you gave me because that ties in and connects to the can do spirit, the, 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 the way to think positive and it can be done. There are no limits, the limits we put on ourselves. This is so exciting. It, it is. Really and I want to give you a little history. You know, please. Um, America apparently was built on this can do attitude and I believe it doesn't belong to America. It is an international, worldwide attitude. The can-do attitude is that which has brought up people by their bootstraps around the world. Those who are downtrodden or those who don't have the same advantages as we happen to have because we happen to be born the luck of the draw here in America. We could, I could easily have been born um, in, in dire straits in the, you know, in the deep jungles of Africa or something. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there is still that spirit within everyone. Everyone yearns to be their best self. Everyone I, is the happiest. Yes. And we're going for a dream that is, is in our hearts. And I don't care what our conditions are. Yes, so, and I think most yeah. people, Lynn, want to rise to their best self because we all yeah. know that we come with limitations that we can override once we begin to rise and know that there are no limits. And that's why what you just said, the can-do spirit, it's just not here in the States. It's universal. It is. It is. That is why we think, you know, when we have difficult times, notice that is what generates when the most difficult times in history whether it's in American history or world history, we seem to generate the best orators during those difficult times. The true? orators who can help us pull, pull up to a, a higher level within ourselves. You can think of uh, Winston Churchill, for example, oh or mm -hmm. uh, Martin Luther King Jr., mm -hmm. or uh, even Abraham Lincoln, or you know, currently the Dalai Lama, um, that the people around the world who in, imbue us with higher ideals because of what their speech and by communicating idea person to person to person to person to person and be thinking along the lines of the power of positivity and what we can do if we have a different thinking. Right, right. And most people who are really professional speakers and are motivational speakers they know their presence is so authentic. And <laughs> That's right. That it's, so ma how, it's magical, isn't it? It is magical. It's magical. I, I, love, I love studying them. <laughs> yeah, because there's something that within them, the word that you used earlier, that ignites something in many who are in the audience. And That's sometimes right. it's not so many, many, maybe it could be one, but it doesn't matter. The ability to do that, the art of doing that is what's important. Lynn, I, I cannot tell you how excited I am for all of this that you're doing with the motivational speakers because that's where I'm headed and that's where I want to go. But also prior to this, you spent 35 years in the financial area mm -hmm. and you have that background. I, I understand you have a, a, a Amazon International best-selling book. Tell us a little bit about that and how you came to do that. Well, thank you so much. Um, I am a co-author in that book. Yes. Um, and and um, that is... A book for women about um, you know your financial health, and it is a wealth. It's called Wealth Mastery for Women. Yes, and it is uh, 12, 12 steps to not steps, but uh, twelve ideals and um, well, it's working steps you can actually take. It's it's like a workbook. You can take step one, step two, step three through twelve. And um, you actually can help yourself become an entrepreneur. You don't have to be a woman. We, we, we say we, we like to speak to all of the women in the world who are motivated to better themselves and also really smart men. <laughs> so, I like 
<laughs> I like that very much. And I love the title of your book for, for women, because one of the things that I know at this juncture for me, and it's still an embryo and it's beginning process is that most of us, even if we have great business skills, the financial aspect of it, the creativity is there, but the handling and the managing of the financial area is sometimes needing a lot of help. Yeah, so it can be a challenge. Yeah, it can be a challenge. Right. Well, I, I jumped into the in, uh, investment world when I right out of college because I was broke and I needed money. <laughs> and so I thought, well, What's the best way to, you know, earn some money? And I thought, well, first I got to learn about money and see what, what I, if, if ever I did have some money, what can I do with it and how can I manage it and how can I do so intelligently? And I thought, well, the, the least I could do is that, uh, go into the money business so that I could learn the language of money, which is a very, very broad, deep language that I would, you know, advise all women particularly to begin and there's so many tools online now for yeah. literacy financial literacy that we didn't have those tools back when wow. um, but at any rate um, I was one of the early women who had who began my own uh, not only right after being hired as a woman a stockbroker which was very rare back in the in the mid seventies, you know, you could be a secretary to a stockbroker, but oh. you couldn't be a stockbroker right out of college at, except mm -hmm. I just was in that, that area of where, when women were really saying, Oh no, I'm going to, I'm going to be a salesman. I'm going, I can do this. Um, and I had some personal fortitude and I had some great mentors, great Love mentors. Fortitude. Um, yes. And so I jumped in, became a stockbroker, um, and within four years working with the major, major companies, I exited and had the balls or the gall, I would call it, to oh. <laughs> open my own brokerage business, which was amazing. Looking back, I don't know how I had the courage to do that, Agreed. but I did. And um, that was the, the beginning of a 34-year career in the investment advisory world. Um, and so that was my first career. And... and, and I, I have to say, the financial business and I were were great friends. It was not easy. No, not I'm sure easy. I, I, I have no <laughs> doubt and no reservations about that, Lynn, because I like several of the words that you that you use for us, and words that I really connect and relate to, and most of the audience, I'm sure as well. Magical, and you said the language of money, because I'm learning for me now that I thought what I thought I knew, I'm, I'm not as on top of it as I ought to be, and I'm in the process of learning myself. So I know exactly what you mean. The language of money, it's a whole new, um, it's almost like the uh, wild frontier if you're new to it, but like anything else, you acclimate and you get used to it. Tell us one more thing here that I'm interested in, because I know this motivational series that you're doing with the 13 episodes. Yes. You also have, have, you have asked people to be a part of the filming audience. So tell us how people can become a part of the filming audience. Oh, that. great. Thank you. Thank you, Joy. Well, I, first of all, we are so grateful for the audience that we did have on July 30th. Cool. Uh, we, we had a full ballroom filled full of the most wonderful people and they, they, be, they become part of the, of the filming, the television filming. If with, without the audience, we wouldn't have the kind of, yes. of magic and frequency, yeah. the high frequency that we did filming uh, these wonderful four people because they when they're on stage they feed Absolutely. and they get energy and it's it's a dynamic thing from with the audience and just think the audience becomes part of the actors you know of the on in the stage and the whole the whole idea of this is to is to create a frequency that is a conducive for for change and you, you see the, the faces come alive in the audiences. Yes. And so we are giving another opportunity for our next filming yes. for people to be in the audience again. Um, this will be in November, mid-November. We're uh -huh. actually going to have two filming dates back to back. Wow. This will be two days consecutive on November 13th and 14th. Okay. Now that's the middle of the week, a Wednesday and a Thursday. Um, 
and it just happens to be that's when uh, we're, we're able to get the majority of our next speakers, uh, the roster that we have pulled together, as well as the beautiful ballroom. We will be filming this in a five-star resort location in Newport Beach, California. Oh, my, it's, my, my, my. I know. It's called the Balboa Bay Resort. It yes. is right on the water. It's the only five-star resort right on the water. The boats line up in the harbor right in front of it. Oh, um, as you leave the ballroom, you'll be able to go right down on the and walk along the, the boat um, docks. Beautiful, big, gorgeous boats that give you the feeling like, you know, um, I've got some goals in life, and it's time for me to, to, to wow. bring my, my big dreams into existence because my goals are worth it. And look at me. Here I am in this beautiful location. We want people to feel empowered yes. by the beauty yes. of the setting. Oh, that's, it, it's, it sounds like we all need to be there. Are you allowed or are you able to share with us the next four people that you will be interviewing or you want to keep that top secret? No, I'm going to share with you some of them um, and we're still, you know, contracting with them uh, as, as I speak. But uh, we have a, um, an absolute yes with Jack Kenfield, yes. uh, who's going to be with us. And he's, you know, internationally known top um, mm -hmm. We have, uh, we, we have a wonderful gentleman named uh, Blaine Bartlett, who is a international. He's more known in Japan and internationally. Uh, he's done a great deal of training and work with Bob Proctor throughout the years. Um, and we also have invited, but we don't have um, exact you know, contracting done yet with people. I'm going to I'm going to name some of our of our top dream people that if they say <laughs> yes, then yeah. we're going to have the most magical uh, place. But we just we don't have the actual yeses yet. It's going to be magical regardless. Lynn. Yes, it's going to be magical regardless. But yeah. we're we are attracting people like Lisa Nichols. Yes. Uh, Reverend Dr. Michael Beckwith. Yes, we know. Um, mm -hmm. We have Nick Vujicic. Um, who is an uh, international star from, speaker star from uh, Australia. Um, and we have uh, other personalities. Cynthia Kersey, who is the foundation lead, lead of the nonprofit Unstoppable Foundation, who, uh, who does a great deal of work in Africa. Yes. Of, uh, with education and helping people in Africa. Um, and Listen, friend, you could give us name after name after we name. Can. I can already tell that you have enough there for people to get excited about. Yeah, and one other, I just want to tell you what happened this last time. We had a, a 24 hours before we started filming, we, we had the greatest luck to receive um, an okay from an internationally known sports celebrity, motivational speaker, Sugar Ray Leonard, <laughs> who yeah. came on board with us. And in the last minute, he was there. The audience went nuts. He was uh, not only on stage, but he was backstage interviewing uh, the speakers as they came off the stage. So we were doing a lot of excitement, do doing some B-roll, behind stage B-roll. And um, so... We have someone up our sleeves who's also going to be very special this coming filming, but I really have to keep that one secret. secret. Well, listen, you, you can keep them all secret. <laughs> I, I tell you, it is it is magical, this, this whole project that you have going here. And I'm like so excited for you and for all of us. One of my uh, co-partners and friends here says, how can we help you? Well, we can help you by getting people to come and making sure that we put up your link People can connect with you via your name, your website, yes. and your email. Yes. I would like you, you know, the way that people can uh, find out all about not only the project, but coming to be part of the filming, uh, yes. which is an extraordinary opportunity, not just because you're part of the filming, but you get to meet and be with other like-minded people and networking. Yes. Uh, we have some amazing business deals happening right there. <laughs> In, 
in the audience. Uh, and in, in over a two-day period, this is going to be even better still. All you need to do is go to worldsgreatestmotivators.com. Okay. And that is a site that right now we have up, uh, which is a wait list. You can opt in there to put your name on our wait list. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what it is. I it's a wait list. Going across. And then I can make some notes here. And Adair, mm -hmm. you can put that maybe in the mini chat or something. I don't know what we'll do or in a get response letter that we send out so that people can be aware of that. And that's November the 13th and the 14th, I think you said? That's right. So we will be sending out all the, the, the pricing and the details and everything in the next three weeks or so, two to three weeks. But for now, you can get at least your name on a wait list. And that way, we, we'll send you all the information. You'll be first to know. Lynn. Time flies here. It's the half hour is gone and we're over, but it's never over for me. I am delighted and honored that we have met and we're connected. I know it's a lifelong connection from here on. The, the way that we connected and the time that you took and how we did this will always be in my heart because you are doing all the things that I desire to do and want to do and I will always be connected. Is there anything that I didn't ask you or is there anything you want to share with us before you say so long for now? We never say goodbye until we connect the next time. Is there anything you want to leave the audience with? I think you've shared an awful lot with us but if there's anything, now is the time. And then I'm going to ask you to go into the to green room and I'll say goodbye to the audience. So if Excellent. there's anything, now is the time. Well, I just, first of all, I want to thank you, Joy, for this professional show and for your reaching out for, uh, to, the, to the women of the world. And you are the epitome of a leading lady yourself. I just want to say wow. how honored I am, what a privilege it is to be on your show. And I know that you're doing great, great things to the world. I'm going to try to help you get this show out, you know, in, into, into bigger, 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 bigger places because you're doing great work. And I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I have no words. So, so long for now. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank my. You. What, thank you. What, can, what can I say before I say that the time goes here and it goes so quickly and my cursor has its own personality, but there we go. Thank all of you for being here. It is always delightful. And I'm happy when I look out and see that you're here because we know that it's not the best time. And may I say, when it comes to relationships, which is what we're all about, there is something that I want all of you to look into if you haven't already. And if you're watching the replay, it stands there as well. Relationships are everything. This is how I got to connect with Lynn and this is how we began to build our relationship. And it will continue. This I know in my heart, in my gut, whatever name you choose to use. Because the relationship that you build with yourself as we rise to get to our better self, then you're able to connect with other people. So I want you to find out what your communicating personality style is. And all you have to do is just put in the word key, K-E-Y, and then you'll be able to get a personality quiz to let you know what your communicating style is. And then you'll be able to peruse and see the other three and you can take it from there. But it's fun and it's always good to know a little bit more about ourselves. It was wonderful having you here tonight. And I can only say that I can't, I'm always smiling, but I can't get the smile off my face because I'm just so happy that I was able to spend this time with you and with our guest tonight, Lynn Kitchen. And I hope that you will get the website the email address and her name and make a connection with her because you will never ever regret it. Her work is stupendous, it really is. And may I say, join us next week, same time, same station, another leading lady. And I can't wait for you to have a great, happy holiday weekend until we connect the next time. So long for now and thank you, cheers.